It's a beautiful day in the QuickBooks space. A beautiful day in your business place. It's your bottom line, money and time. Since we're together, we might as well say, won't you be my QuickBooks neighbor? Hello, and welcome to your first episode of QuickBooks and More, powered by Fishbowl. I'd like to take just a couple of minutes to explain who we are, what we do, and what we hope to accomplish with this QuickBooks and More series. So for those of you who don't already know me, and how could you not, I am Beverly Lang. I'm Beverly Lang, the Senior Director of Integrated Services over at Fishbowl. So what's Fishbowl, you might ask? Well, Fishbowl is the number one inventory management software that works in conjunction with QuickBooks. Whether you're using desktop or QuickBooks online, we have a platform that'll work with you. We're gonna allow you to have a seamlessly integrated software solution so that both your accounting and your inventory management is being done for you with ease. So we've created this QuickBooks and More series because what we'd like to do is share my experience and knowledge with QuickBooks. We wanna to talk to you about things like Fishbowl, and other third-party apps like Avalara, Bill.com. And then of course, we wanna help you use some of the most underutilized features that are in QuickBooks with our Tips and Tricks series. So we hope that this series is gonna bring a lot of knowledge to you and allow you to get the best out of QuickBooks. So then you'll love QuickBooks just like I do. So today I wanted to start with just my favorite tip in QuickBooks Online, and it has to do with the date. So let's take a look. So whenever you're in QuickBooks Online and you're in any field that requires a date, such as the invoice date, you can simply change this one of two ways. You can use the calendar feature and go back and forwards, or you can use my favorite trick, which is the keyboard. So the first day of the week is W, that changes it to the first day. K, last day of the week. M, first day of the month. H is last day of the month. You see the trend here, don't you? Same works for year. Y is the first day of the year. R is the last day of the year. But if you just need to go up a couple um, dates, either forward or backwards, you can simply use your plus on your keypad or your minus. And that allows you to keep your fingers on your keyboard, allows you to enter data faster and be more efficient with doing all of your data entry. So that is my favorite tip and there's more of those to come. So we hope you'll join us for our next episode of QuickBooks and More powered by Fishbowl.